Okay, so this was just core Java, but you, I'm seeing your resume having uh, advanced Java also wrote there. Okay, so I see there was the project called creation of IPL team. Yes. Can you explain that project? Yes, sir. Uh, in and that the main purpose of proposing uh, which I developed, which is just to uh, to grow my skills, improve my skills. And in that project, uh, I use some tools uh, like uh, Spring Framework, Java, and uh, database also there, and Hibernate also there to develop project. So I developed uh, some entities also there in that project, mm -hmm. uh, like teams and players, uh, which uh, they are in relationship one to many. And uh, after that, I perform some operations and creating some REST APIs for that, and those operations uh, which I perform on Postman. So you want to say this project is in REST API? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what are the services you created in this project? Uh, or what are the REST API you created in this project? Uh, Do you remember like, anything? Yes, yes. For uh, getting all players information. Getting? Uh, getting all player information. Mm -hmm. uh, like uh, then if we want to specific team players that, uh, that I also created. After that uh, some for like uh, some players have more than 50 centuries. Like that, I also created. After that, uh, some players' wickets, which are uh, greater than 50 or 100, we can say that that's, that I also prepared. And the, those week, uh, those players which have greater than 50 wickets, and as well as uh, 10 centuries, also there, there that, that can also perform. I think you created this project by yourself. Yes, because yes. you are telling so detailed and all that stuff. Only that is possible if you created that project by yes, yourself. Yes, I created myself. Not by just reading. Uh, I encourage everyone those who are seeing this uh, video also. If you try by your own, then only you can explain. Yes, okay, so how was the flow actually from controller where the request was yes, going? Yes. Yeah, actually the flow is uh, from firstly from as can say postman to uh, rest controller, controller, Perfect. controller to service, uh -huh. service to DAO, and DAO to database. Hmm. And the reverse flow is from database to uh, DAO, DAO to service, and service to controller and controller to postman. Hmm. That is the flow. Okay, so JSON was coming from uh, JSON was coming from Postman yourself. Yes, yes. If we add data, mm -hmm. then uh, we have to uh, write in the form of uh, JSON in on Postman. Then the, then data will be added into the uh, database directly. What is the difference between Spring and Spring Boot? Uh, basically, uh, Spring and Spring Boot are two different technology, not a different technologies. Uh, Spring Boot use mm -hmm. in internal Spring to develop uh, APIs or REST APIs we can say as directly and by using Stream, uh, Stream we can use, uh, we can develop web Stream, not sorry, Spring, uh, Spring, Spring we can use uh, web applications and uh, the main feature of Spring is dependent in injection and the Spring Boot is a uh, IOC feature, I in version of control, the, we can say as and in Spring we have to add dependencies manually and after that, uh, uh, we can say as a inbuilt database also not provided by Spring. After that, uh, pom dot uh, XML XML files we have to uh, uh, manage ourselves. Okay. After that, uh, but in Spring Boot you don't need to manage it by yourself. Yeah, well, they uh, they they manage automatically okay. Spring Boot. Okay. Yes. After that. Uh, in uh, Spring Boot, uh, uh, that's it all about. Okay. Yeah. What is the difference between Hibernate and JDBC? Uh, Hibernate and JDBC. Hibernate uh, is a framework we can say as a or JDBC is a technology that is RDBMS approach, and uh, Hibernate as a object oriented approach. Okay. In a uh, JDBC, uh, we have to uh, add. Uh, in JDBC, uh, sorry, I can tell firstly Hibernate, after that I will tell JDBC. Uh, in JDBC, uh, JDBC uh, we, uh, we can, in JDBC some inbuilt methods to perform some op uh, operations like uh, add, uh, sorry, save, delete, post, etc. And uh, in, after that, JD, Hibernate, JDBC, uh, we have to, uh, whenever uh, we, we have to use JDBC, uh, we have to write query for that and uh, we have to use a statement or prepared statement to perform operations 
and we have to write uh, SQL queries for that. Uh, I mean, uh, where which database is used for using JDBC, we have to write for that type of queries. And Hibernate, uh, in Hibernate, we don't have to write queries directly. And Hibernate uses a uh, self language that is a Hibernate uh, uh, HQL language. And after that, uh, good, 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 great. Uh, just to summarize, JDBC is like connection dependent. Yes, Hibernate yes. is not connection dependent. Yeah, we in uh, JDBC, we need SQL query. Whereas in Hibernate, we don't need SQL query. Okay, so be uh, short. Okay. Okay. Uh, in Hibernate, you need to do you need to do a lot of configurations. Yes. But in JDBC, you don't need to. Okay. Uh, there is have, uh, HBM file is there. CFG file is there. Yes, yes. Built in functions are there. So, like that, you summarize and, but the good answer you gave. Uh, that's really great. Uh, main, I'm impressed with your background, your education qualification. That is BSc uh, Mathematics. Yeah. It's really amazing. Yes. Uh, your computer science people will not give such answers. Many people. And you are into the different background, non-IT background. So still you are studying so many things. It's amazing. 